the, the global market of AI in banking is expected to grow with a, around more than around 30% CAGR compared to the other growth rate. And it is registered that around you know, 20 billion, 20 billion dollar in 2024. Okay, mm-hmm. so it's saying the number is saying that what is the potential of this market? What are the possibilities of the technology which is coming in now and how do they utilize those possibilities to solve the problems that I have as a bank in my hand is is the is the challenge. Okay, So mm-hmm. uh, that's the definition of the biggest challenge and of course if we break it down there will be operational challenges, there will be strategic challenges, there will be people related challenges and all that is going to be there. Look okay. at readiness point of view, if your bank is um, quite a legacy bank, you have a say um, the systems, the APIs and uh, the entire tech ecosystem or tech stack, if it is very old, then mm. it becomes a problem, right? So there is a lot of work that you have to do to get ready. When I mm. say about old systems, um, what can go is, is that, you know, your data is in silos because for anything and everything that you do in AI, your data preparedness is one of the big topics on the table, right? So at this point in time, for a bank, at least banking industry, I think it is going to be top down because the leaders have to first decide say that where we want to uh, go and what is the path which is going to lead us there. Of course, opinion, but I feel that a lot of work has to be done by the leaders in the organizations to understand and uh, see how to apply AI first of all. Otherwise, they'll not be able to guide the, um, you know, um, their, their organization. Are you suggesting uh, now uh, as, as per your uh, understanding, main challenges coming from to, um, need to be changed from top-down approach from the leaders. Topics which has been existing ever since probably when banks were invented. Even. Okay, so mm-hmm. how do I do um, more with less resources, more with less people, more with probably less process steps and things like that? Was always the focus which is there, right? So um, uh, where I see, uh, you know, at least eagerness of banks to uh, get AI adopted is more in this space uh, in terms of its in terms of its operations. The mindset going on, uh, you know, towards uh, you know, among these you know uh, customers uh, because uh, customers are really ready to embrace this uh, AI-driven banking systems or apps like you know uh, uh, you know a mobile see, apps. Uh, see the readiness of customers comes from need. Say for example. Uh, if I say somebody older in my family might say that no, I don't need my banking app, I can steal money. The person who is selling probably, you know, a uh, few guavas down the, on, a, on a street, right? Maybe, which is there is that need for them, right? So why are they adopting um, a QR code in India that you would have seen? Probably the smallest of shops, not even a shop, uh, a roadside uh, something where they're selling it. Is that, you know, it's, 